How's it going out there, gamers? It's Roll Easy here today, and we're back with another, well, it's not really another glitch. It's just kind of a revised method to hit the Sultan RS dupe glitch, okay? So, uh, yeah, founder of this was Freight Train with the Fudge, and uh, yeah, what you're going to need, in case you guys don't know already, 955 grand to actually renovate your MOC. Uh, you're going to need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to start out with, and you want a Sultan RS that has a custom plate on it. So that means only a Sultan RS, and it's got to have custom plates for this glitch. You need custom plates for this. And uh, no retros, no nothing like that, all right? We're only duping Sultan RSs. The retros won't work. Don't ask. They just don't freaking work. This glitch has been out for a month already, and we figured it out that, you know, retros just don't work. So, uh, yeah. Now, I know I said that you need custom plates for this glitch, but guys... I will at the end of the video show you a little trick if you've lost your custom plate so you would have to have a custom plate already on another car but there is a little trick to actually get a custom plate onto a, uh, a Sultan in case you don't have one on a Sultan already so you know say you wanted to do this glitch and you didn't have a Sultan RS with plates on it but you have another car that has a custom plate you can actually transfer that plate onto a Sultan and I'll show you that at the end of the video alright so stay tuned but before you watch that part, make sure you watch, you know, the uh, the beginning method and actually how we're going to get glitched out, okay? It's very similar to the method that I posted a few days ago, uh, but this is a much, much easier way to actually hit it. And you actually can hear when you need to time your, uh, you know, when you need to time it, basically, to be able to let go of the certain button that you need to be pressing, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're going to get started right about here. Uh, yeah, so what you want to do right now is get your Sultan and press right on the D-pad. Hold down the gas right now. Keep holding it down, continue to hold it down until you see the little yellow loading icon. Oh, and you need RH8s and Fagios, by the way. I'm gonna show you RH8s, how to do it with RH8s, okay? But here we go, all right, so what we're gonna do is get in the car and hold down on the D-pad right here. All right, so we're holding down on the D-pad and now I'm gonna back up and back up all the way to the wall. Now go forward. And right there, you heard that? When the when the car, I, I stopped talking so you can hear it. When the car was shifting right past second gear, you heard it go, that was, that was uh, first gear going into second gear. And then as it went into third gear from second gear, that is when you actually want to let go of down on the D-pad. Now, on this attempt, I actually failed. I wanna show you guys that I don't just get these glitches on first attempt. I fail a lot, all right? It's okay to fail. Just keep failing until you freaking get it, all right? That's just how glitches are. Keep going until you get it. It's a glitch. Now, we're going to try it again. Now, remember, right on the D-pad and hold down the gas until you see the little loading icon on the bottom right. Once you see the loading icon, you can let go of the gas. So, here we go. Let go of the gas. Now, we're going to get in. And remember, as it's about to shift to third gear, that is when you're letting go of the uh, of down on the D-pad, all right? So, we're going to back up. We're holding down on the D-pad right now. Now, we're going to go forward. Now you see that time, I let go of down on the D-pad too late. So you heard it actually fully shift into third gear already and went choo, choo, like that. So when it got into the third gear, that means that you were actually a little bit too late. What you want to see is your character slightly opening the door, okay? If you see him opening the door too much or getting out already, it's probably going to be, you know, it's probably not going to work. And remember, every time you fail, you need to drive your car out. So just tap the trigger to drive the car back out. Don't hold it. Tap the car. Uh, tap the trigger. If you hold it, it could get yourself glitched out. All right. So here we go. This is the this is the successful attempt right here. So right on the D-pad, I'm holding the gas now. Holding right trigger. That's R2 on PlayStation. Keep holding it right now until there we go. Until we get the loading icon, which is right there. Now I'm getting in. Here we go. Holding down on the D-pad. Back up. And then go forward. Now you saw that, that was perfect. Literally right right as it was shifting. So you wanna get it either right before or right when it does. So that's when I got it right there. The door was barely open. It just cracked open right there and that's what you wanna see. And that's how I knew that I actually hit the glitch right there. And there we go. You got the double stacked cars. So at this point, you guys know what to do from here. Um, uh, I just wanted to add because some people were questioning whether you had to go outside right now or stay inside. But uh, yeah, once the cars are duped like this and you got two, and as you can see, I got my Icarus plate on there. So I do have the custom plate on both. You can actually order and renovate the MOC from in here. You don't have to run outside and do it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to, from right from here, I'm going to actually go renovate my MOC. And remember, in this tutorial, we're going to be using RH8s. People are asking what happens if I don't have an MC. You know, don't worry, I got you guys. So bay two right here. 
Go to Weapon and Vehicle Workshop, hit OK, hit Renovate for 955 grand, and buy it. It's going to kick you out of the MOC automatically since we just renovated. Now, since we had two in there, one of them is actually going to be stuck in there. Now, the other one actually goes to the, your personal vehicle storage, so you, you don't lose one. You actually keep the original. You just now have one of those dupes stuck in there. So a lot of people were wondering about that also. Where does the other one go? It actually, you keep both. Right now, There's this is the dupe, actually, that we had created. That gets stuck there. So I just wanted to show you guys that you can be inside or outside, and instead of using Fagios like in my last video, uh, for those of you that don't have an MC Clubhouse, which you should, it's only like 200 grand to become an MC president. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to use RH8s instead. Because uh, you were saying, what happens if we don't have an MC Clubhouse to call them or whatever? Uh, yeah, so right here, you can use your mechanic. First of all, that's one of the options. I'm gonna use my mechanic to call an RH8. The problem with calling the mechanic is that when you're calling the mechanic, what can happen is these cars, you can dupe them like 30 seconds, you know, each. So here we go. You see the RHA right there? All it's got to be is on the street. As long as my personal vehicle is on the street, whatever vehicle you bring out, guys, is going to get duped over if you do this. So make sure you're only pulling out an RHA or a Fagio, whatever you're using. So I'm getting in the glitched out car inside the workshop and I'm pressing right on the D-pad to modify and I'm going to go up to the plates and I recommend having multiple plates for this and change the color of the plate and change the plate itself and hit exit the vehicle. Do not hit exit the mobile operation center, all right? You have to, you'll end the glitch and then you have to get re-glitched out and get the car stacked. So I'm going to forward right now. This is what you do if you have RH8s, all right, and you don't have an MC clubhouse. The RH8 is still outside. I'm running in here. That is actually the spot, that empty spot. That's where the RH8 came from. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab another RH8 and I'm going to drive it out. What's going to happen now is I drive this RH8 out and that RH8 gets sent back to this garage as a dupe. We've already duped one car just like that. There's actually a Sultan in that garage right now. So I'm getting out the next car that I want to dupe, which is this LG RH8. Now, once I got the RH8 out, doesn't matter where it is. Just make sure it's not too close to the blue circle or else it will disappear run back into the blue circle now once we get in here we're just going to rinse and repeat i'm going to do three cars right here just to show you guys how to do the rh8s people were wondering you know no clubhouse no worries i got you guys all right so right on the d-pad right here modify the vehicle go ahead and change the plate and the color of the plate so color of the plate changed and plate itself changed back out go to the exit vehicle and run outside all right, and we're just going to simply, you know, once the RH8 is right there, oh, don't don't drive the RH8 inside of the garage. If you're using Fagios, don't drive it into the garage. It's not going to dupe properly. Okay, leave it outside and just go grab the other one. All right, so here we go. You see there's already a Sultan right there in that one spot to the right that was just there in the corner of the screen. This is the empty spot where the, where the RH8 was. Now this is the third RH8 I'm grabbing. All right, so like I said, you don't need to call your mechanic every time. You can just park near your garage. And if you're near your garage, you can just run in and out of your garage to grab the RH8s that you want or the Fagios if you want to use those instead. But uh, yeah, if you want to use Fagios, do it. Just get an MC Clubhouse for like 200 grand. It's super cheap. The one over there in, uh, I think it's Polito Bay is really, really cheap. So get that if you really want an MC, you know, president menu. That's all you need. Now, uh, for the third car, we got our RH8 outside. We're going to get in here. We're just going to do the same thing over again. And stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to show you how to actually transfer a custom plate from one car to another. All right, so I'm going to change the plate here and the color, exit vehicle, go outside. And even though you see the RH8 out there, it's actually already a dupe. If you were to call your mechanic right now and check that garage, it would say Sultan RS where that RH8 spot is. So you actually see it right there. A friend of mine actually stayed outside long enough and he realized that it actually turns into a Sultan if you stay outside with it, you know, for a long period of time. So yeah, there you go. I returned it to storage and check it out. All three Sultans right, right there. So just like that, I duped all three. You can do this glitch really, really quick. Once you get glitched out, that's it, man. You can dupe all your garages. I got a friend duping every single one of his garages as we speak. All right, so here is the part where you can transfer a plate from one uh, car to another. All right, so say for example, you didn't have custom plates. You did the glitch and now you got two duplicates in there um, and you did the renovation of the MOC. So now you have one car stuck in the vehicle workshop. Okay, just say that that is what's happened already. All right, uh, you, so it does cost money, you know, to be able to do this, but all right, so say that's where we're at. You had, you know, no custom plates on your, two du on your, dupe, on your car that you wanted to dupe. You renovated the MOC, now you have one car stuck in the vehicle workshop, but it has a normal plate. So, you take out a car, that's this Sultan right here with the yo-yo plate. You take out any car that you don't mind getting rid of that has an old custom plate on it, all right, that you want to transfer onto the Sultan. Okay, so that could be any car, that Sultan that's outside, that can be any one of your previous cars that has a plate 
that you don't care about getting rid of, all right? Because you will get rid of it. So say, for example, this one in here doesn't have the virus plate. It's a generic plate. All you got to do is drive it out when that other car is outside. Drive this car out and you're going to see from this virus plate, all of a sudden, check it out. Now it has that yo-yo plate. That's from the Sultan that I had outside. So that's what you would do, guys. You would do the glitch as if you were going to do the dupe glitch, renovate the MOC once the cars are stacked. And then at that point, all you got to do is pull out the car from a garage that you don't mind getting rid of, that you want to transfer the plate from, and go in there with the glitched out Sultan that's, uh, that's in there with the regular plate, drive it out, and it will take the plate from the car you have sitting outside. But remember, that car is going to just go bye-bye. It's going to disappear. So... It has to be a car that you need the custom plate from and you don't mind getting rid of, all right? But that is how you would do it. And then you change back to the personal vehicle storage and now you can actually go in there and you can start the glitch because you have a brand new car that has a, uh, a custom plate. You have a brand, you have a, well, it's not a brand new car, but you got a Sultan now with a custom plate. So you can go ahead and do this glitch. So that's the way around it, guys. If you don't have access to your plates anymore, but you have an old car that you don't mind getting rid of that has a plate that you want to transfer, all right? So yeah, two-in-one glitch with this one, guys, all right? And it's a lot easier to hit now. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Any questions, you know where to put them down there in the comments. It's Roll Easy. Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment, subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button, and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day. And don't forget, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Let's get it going. Peace.